During the summer months, nothing is as relaxing as kicking back by the pool and enjoying the sun. From backyard swimming pools to massive reservoirs, these water features offer recreation to people all over the world. But some pools are so extreme they take on a sinister quality. Today we're looking at the 10 scariest pools in the world. After thousands of years of erosion, many rock pools have formed near the Great Victoria Falls, the legendary waterfalls located in Zambia. One of these naturally occurring pools is located right on the edge of a vertiginous drop. Devil's Pool is indeed the ultimate infinity pool. It is a protected area that only allows a maximum of 24 people at any one time. The utmost care is taken to protect and preserve the natural habitat of the area. There is only one company that has been issued with an exclusive operator's license to conduct the Livingstone Island and Devil's Swimming Pool tours. Many people have turned to illegal guides to take them to these amazing pools, but without the right expertise, there have been a number of serious accidents. From the lip of the pool to the crashing waves below is a whopping 103 meters. That is more than enough to result in a fatal fall, though there is a natural barrier at the edge of the pool, which will hopefully protect visitors from a precarious plunge. Devil's Pool is open during the drier months of the year, usually between mid-August and mid-January, when the Zambezi water levels are low enough for swimmers to take a dip. It was supposed to be a fun day out at the water park, with hundreds of people enjoying the gentle swell of a wave machine while riding inflatable rings. But when machinery malfunctioned at the Yulong Shuiyun Water Park in northern China in August 2019, it instead generated an enormous tidal wave that swept away unsuspecting swimmers, causing at least 44 injuries. A video of the accident shows dozens of visitors being hurled into the air as the artificial tsunami crashes through a pool packed with adults and children. The wave was forceful enough that it pushed huge volumes of water over the edge of the pool, prompting bystanders to rush away from the edge. Though rumors circulated that the wave operator had mistakenly set the wave controls to the maximum setting, the South China Morning Post reported that it was likely a power issue in the control room. According to the initial stages of the investigation, the incident was caused by a power cut that damaged electronic equipment in the tsunami pool control room, which led to the waves in the tsunami pool becoming too big and injuring people, a Longjing City announcement said, according to the South China Morning Post. An Italian spa complex just opened a swimming pool certified by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's deepest. Named the Y40 Deep Joy, the pool is now the star attraction at the Hotel Milipeni, located in the Montegrado Terme Resort area, near Venice, Italy. This isn't the kind of facility aimed at jaded business travelers hoping to cram in a few laps before they head upstairs to order room service. Deep Joy features a shaft that plunges down until it hits a depth of 138 feet, a space that could easily accommodate a 13-story building. The cylindrical-shaped pool will be heated to 32 degrees Celsius and require an immense amount of energy to maintain this temperature. And of course, the cave is meant for indoor scuba diving. Guests of the spa can visit various caves and grotto spreads throughout the various levels of the immense swimming pool. Travel guidebooks call Kipu Falls a glorious little hidden place and a swimming hole extraordinaire. But the alluring beauty of the waterfall and natural pool conceals a deadly side. Five visitors have drowned at Kipu Falls in the past five years, leading to the notorious nickname the Pool of Death. In most of the cases, the swimmers jumped off of the top of the waterfall into the pool of blue-green water about 20 feet below, then were pulled to their deaths while attempting to swim to the shore. Others have suffered chest injuries, rope burns, perforated eardrums, and broken and sprained ankles. A teenage girl was paralyzed after jumping there. Native Hawaiians and other locals know from experience that fluctuating tides and seasonal changes can make this the swim of a lifetime or the end of a life. Three men were caught on camera by a spectator as they jumped in and out of the pool, but it wasn't long before they were in trouble. At the start of the clip, two of the men flip into the water from a rock above, while a friend looks on. One half of the acrobatic pair pulls himself up onto the rocks and looks on as his friend attempts to do the same. At this point, the pool shows its hand in an alarming manner. The water level suddenly lowers dramatically, then rises up rapidly, launching the man still in the water up onto the rocks. Thankfully, all three individuals are able to swim against the current and survive the harrowing experience in the pool of death. With such a varied and intriguing past, it's not surprising that the Queen Mary has been voted one of the top 10 most haunted places in America by Time Magazine. Among the ghosts reportedly still hanging around is an engineer who died in the ship's engine room, a lady in white, and various children located throughout the ship, including the first-class pool. 
The ghosts seen in the first-class swimming pool seem to be exclusively female, and there are reports of at least one adult woman and a little girl named Jackie that haunt this location. Over the past 60 years, the Queen Mary has been the site of at least 49 reported deaths, not to mention having gone through the terrors of war, so it comes as no surprise that spectral spirits of her vivid past continue to walk within her rooms and hallways. Located 50 feet below the water level is the Queen Mary's engine room, which is said to be a hotbed of paranormal activity. Used in the filming of The Poseidon Adventure, the room's infamous Door 13 crushed at least two men to death at different points during the ship's history. The most recent death, during a routine watertight door drill in 1966, crushed an 18-year-old crew member. Dressed in blue coveralls and sporting a beard, the young man has often been spied walking the length of Shaft Alley before disappearing through door number 13. Tours are only offered during the day, because when the sun goes down, the spirits aboard the Queen Mary come out to play. At the time of its completion in 2006, the San Alfonso del Mar swimming pool was the largest in the world. Located in Algarobo, Chile, the pool is simply enormous. The giant man-made pool, set along the coastline, is larger than 20 Olympic-sized pools and holds a whopping 66 million gallons of water. Crystal Lagoons, the creator of the pool, claimed at the time that it was six times bigger than its closest competitor, the Ordliab Pool in Casablanca, Morocco. Not only is the pool long, but it's deep. It held the Guinness World Record for being the world's deepest at 115 feet, and upkeep costs a cool $2 million annually. If you're wondering how it manages to fill up every day, considering the amount of water required to keep this pool functional is about 250 million liters, wonder no more. The pool uses a computer-generated suction and filtration technology to pump in water from the sea, which is filtered before it is pushed into the pool. This technology also ensures that this water is pumped down from the other end of the pool. The size is impressive, as is the fact that no lifeguards are on duty. Suddenly, the serene pool experience has a certain dangerous connotation. However, thousands of tourists every year are willing to risk their safety to enjoy this luxurious pool. Scandinavia, a region in Northern Europe, is renowned for its high quality of life, progressive politics, and happy citizens. Some believe that the secret to Scandinavian health lies in the ancient tradition of winter swimming. From the western tip of Norway to the eastern shores of Finland, locals jump into the freezing Baltic Sea in the middle of winter, often fully nude. Of course, they usually warm up immediately afterward in a seaside sauna. From a neurological point of view, this practice has been proven to release endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin in the brain, all chemicals related to happiness. Other benefits include enhanced blood circulation, a boosted immune system, and an increase in calories burned. Another bonus, most swimmers finish their dive with a customary trip to the sauna, which not only helps to relax the mind and body, but also to release toxins. However, all these benefits may not be enough to lure a skeptic into the freezing waters. Singapore is an island city-state that is renowned for its opulence and thriving business culture. It's unsurprising that it is home to many of the world's most lavish villas and hotels. One of these is the Marina Bay Sands Pool, sitting atop a skyscraper overlooking the city. It holds the distinction of both the world's highest pool and the world's highest infinity pool. At 340 meters high, it is monstrously tall, and the infinity pool effect creates the illusion that swimmers are right at the precipice of the building. Of course, the pool is reserved for hotel guests, and the resort is not cheap. Though the price fluctuates, guests can easily pay $500 a night for a basic room. But everyone agrees it's a fair deal for access to this one-of-a-kind infinity pool. However, the pool rests so high on the Singapore skyline that many people avoid it, simply for fear of heights. In 2016, images emerged from the Kongqing Pool in China. During a heat wave, so many locals were desperate for a dip that they packed like sardines into the water. It was so crowded that the swimmers, almost all clad with flotation devices, could barely move. Hopefully none of the revelers suffered from claustrophobia, because the quarters were uncomfortably close for every single holidaymaker. Apparently these scenes are not out of the ordinary in densely populated China. The government is hastily building new pools to accommodate the new public fixation, especially as summers get steadily warmer every year. Chinese authorities have issued a heat alert every year for the past five years, making these massive pools even more deadly. Nemo 33 in Brussels, Belgium is the second deepest diving pool in the world. 
reserved for expert divers only. The massive cylindrical pool plummets 33 meters into the earth. This pool is actually equipped with a tunnel, caves with air pockets, and windows looking at the bar. With an entry fee of only 25 euros, it is truly accessible to all. However, several accidents have occurred in this massive pool, leading many to question its safety. While it still isn't Bora Bora, the facility is extravagant and multi-purpose. Used for recreation, several different diving instruction packages, military training, and film production. Various underwater windows allow visitors to peer through the 2.5 million liters of highly filtered spring water and watch the divers as they swim about at different depths.